Around the world, militaries are searching for new ways to stop drones, rockets, and low-cost aerial threats. Missiles are expensive, ammunition runs out quickly, and modern battlefields are increasingly crowded with small, fast-moving targets. Against this backdrop, Iran has quietly signaled interest in a new frontier of warfare, directed energy weapons, particularly anti-drone laser systems. One name that has begun to surface in discussions and reports is Project Sarir, a program often linked to Iran's future ambitions in laser-based air defense. In this video we take a closer look at what Project Sarir represents, how directed energy weapons work, and why this technology could reshape Iran's defensive strategy. Directed energy weapons or DEWs use concentrated energy such as lasers or microwaves to disable or destroy targets. Instead of firing a physical projectile, these systems deliver energy at the speed of light. Laser weapons are especially attractive for air defense because they offer extremely fast engagement, high precision, very low cost per shot, and minimal collateral damage. For counter-drone missions, lasers are well-suited to damaging sensors, control systems, or propulsion components of small aerial vehicles. Drones have become one of the most disruptive tools in modern warfare. They are cheap, easy to deploy, and increasingly capable. Using missiles to intercept small drones is often inefficient and costly. Laser systems offer a different approach, unlimited magazine depth, as long as power is available, silent and nearly invisible engagement, and precise targeting of specific components. This makes directed energy weapons ideal for defending bases, infrastructure, and forward deployed units against drone swarms. Project Sarir is widely believed to be Iran's conceptual or developmental program focused on laser-based air defense, particularly against drones and low-altitude threats. While official details remain limited, references to Sarir suggest a domestically developed system focus on short-range defensive roles and integration with Iran's layered air defense network. Rather than replacing missiles, Sarir appears designed to complement existing systems, filling a critical gap against small, low-cost aerial threats. Based on global trends and Iran's known capabilities, analysts speculate that Project Sarir may involve high-energy solid-state lasers, electro-optical and infrared tracking systems, radar queuing for target acquisition, and vehicle-mounted or fixed-site deployment. Such a system would likely be optimized for short engagement ranges, continuous operation, and rapid target switching. This aligns with Iran's emphasis on mobile, survivable, and cost-effective defense solutions. Iran's military doctrine relies heavily on asymmetric and layered defense. Instead of a single silver bullet, Iran fields multiple overlapping systems designed to complicate an adversary's planning. In this context, Project Sarir could serve as the final defensive layer against drones, protection for radar sites, missile units and bases, and a response to the growing use of UAVs in regional conflicts. Laser weapons also reduce dependence on imported components, aligning with Iran's long-standing focus on self-reliance under sanctions. Despite their promise, laser weapons face real limitations. Weather conditions like fog, rain or dust can reduce effectiveness, high power generation and cooling requirements, and limited range compared to missiles. This means Project Sarir, if operationalized, would not replace conventional air defenses. Instead, it would act as a specialized tool optimized for specific threats under suitable conditions. Beyond battlefield performance, directed energy weapons carry symbolic value. They signal technological sophistication and forward-looking defense planning. Even limited deployment of laser systems can influence adversary calculations, force changes in drone tactics, and increase uncertainty in attack planning. In modern deterrence, perception often matters as much as capability. Project Sarir represents more than just a weapon concept. It reflects Iran's interest in the future of warfare, where speed, precision, and efficiency matter more than sheer firepower. Whether Sarir becomes a fully operational laser defense system or remains an experimental platform, it highlights a clear trend. Directed energy weapons are no longer science fiction, 
and Iran intends to be part of that evolution. As drone warfare continues to expand, laser-based defenses may soon become a standard feature of modern military arsenals, and Project Sarir could be Iran's entry into that new era.